So I'm going to show you today a brief overview of the SD card slot, its capabilities and its limitations on the Android Honeycomb 3.2 operating system on a Motorola Zoom. So first off I'm going to show you where the SD card slot is located. If you're not too familiar with the Motorola Zoom, it's up at the top right here to the left of the camera. Let me bring this flashlight in a little bit. Okay, so what you do is this little tab, you just pull it out gently, and right there on the bottom portion, you see how there's a kind of a wafer card in, in the middle? You go below that to put in the SD card. Now I have one right here, a uh, 32. Probably won't be able to focus on that, but a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now before I insert the SD card, I just want to load up the settings menu from the operating system. That's the Honeycomb 3.2. And go into this, uh, right here into storage. As you see here, this normally show this is where you can see how much of your internal storage is being used by applications, pictures, videos, so on and so forth. But what we're interested in right now is down here there's a new slot called SD card. Now down here right now it says mount SD card, insert an SD card for mounting. So I want you to come to this screen before I insert the SD card just so you can see what happens as you insert the card. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that card and watch the bottom of the screen. Take a look at that. See it automatically located the space and it automatically mounted the SD card. Now it's telling me a total space is 29.88, roughly 30 gigs. You always lose a few on, on those cards. But it's telling me that 5 is available and that I've used up the rest. All right, now that the card is loaded, let's get to the details. There are two different ways of loading information onto the card, either be it pictures, videos, documents, or anything else you want to put onto the card. You can either A, have the SD card outside the device put into a card reader and read and write to it that way, or B, have the SD card in the tablet, hook up the tablet through its USB dongle to the computer, and use the computer to navigate between folders and put stuff on and off of the SD card. Now here's the tricky part. If your SD card is in your tablet and you want to transfer something from your tablet to your SD card, you will not be able to do that. They have currently limited it that when the SD card is inside your tablet, and you're using your tablet only to navigate with the card, it is read-only access. You cannot write to it and you cannot delete from it. Now, to give you a clearer picture of that, let me go back. And I'm going to use one of these explorers. Some of you um, might be familiar with this. Now, if you're curious what location um, it's mounted to, it's actually, if you go to the root directory, you, and you have all these folders listed, you'll go to the MNT, most likely referring to mount, and here you'll see the SD card, which is the built-in memory in the tablet, and then this external one is actually the SD card. So we'll go ahead and click on that. As you see, I have all my files here. Now let me go back. Files right now are not important, but what you'll see here is that what you'll see here is that the built-in memory, which is the SD card, I know it's it's kind of misdirecting. SD card on the tablet is actually referring to the internal memory of the tablet. So the internal memory of the tablet, named SD card, has read and write capabilities. The external one, which is the actual micro SD card, has only read capabilities. That's what the R is. So as you can see here, navigating on the tablet, we can only read from the SD card. We can't write or delete. 
on the internal memory we can do everything. If you want to copy from the SD card to your local memory you can do that because you're only reading off the micro SD card. Now before I let you go I just want to tell you a few more quick things about the SD card slot. Um, I'm using a 32 gigabyte card. Uh, I've heard of people having success with 16, 8, 6, 2. What you want to be careful of is not to use one that's too old or too slow, especially if you're trying to play high definition video through here. I've had mine is a 32 gigabyte and it's read write at 6 megabytes a second. So it's a class 6 and it's capable and it has worked pretty well playing back uh, 720p video and music files as well. If you want to take the SD card out, let's say you have a couple of SD cards and each one has different material on it, what you want to do is go back into settings. So I'm going to go right here. That's the quickest way for me. Go into storage. Scroll down to the bottom and as you see here we have an option unmount the SD card so you can safely remove it. You want to click on this like so. Unmounting will stop. It's a warning. You click OK. And as you see, it's unmounted, and now it's safe to remove. Kind of like removing a USB drive from your computer. It's safer to do that than to run into logic errors and have to restart your tablet or anything of that nature. So that's best practice that they're telling that they're saying you should do. So just a last quick note for you to keep track of. Thanks for taking a look at this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them at the bottom of this video and I will respond as quickly as I can. Otherwise, uh, if there's enough questions, then I might just repost a new video with an update to some of these things. Also, if there are any new releases in the future, I promise I will try to post a new video on those as well to try to give you an idea of what changes come along. Um, and please stay tuned for any new tutorials. Thanks.